Hi folks, let's see what we can do with this one. We've got uh, <coughs> Payne's Grey, Ultramarine, yeah, it's still a bit usable. Uh, a bit of Burnt Sienna, Yellow Ochre, Cabin Yellow, Payne's Grey and White. So one, two, three, four colours plus grey and white. Grey and white, Payne's Grey and White. Could be black, but I've, my black's gone sort of a bit. Bit solid there. Uh, right, now I like the idea of using a spray bottle on this because it gets your wash, your first washes off to a whoops, off to a good start. So just making up a view as we go along. Uh, so bit of a bit of a tree there or something. Uh, that's a bit of impressionism. Now the good thing about wetting the first time, it just helps your, your colours to to, uh, to spread easily. And you can just get on with it. Okay, now I've got, I've got red up there. Don't know why I don't use, use it. Uh, oh, let's have a, let's use a bit of that. Bit of this side and the other. Bit of green. Red. All those lovely colours. That yellow's perishing a bit from yesterday. Here's a bit of a Bit of yellow in there, bit of, bit of red. Now we can go over this as many times as we like. So it's on a bit of the 130 pound weight paper. There's some blacks in there, or some greys, or a bit of blue, there's a bit of blue in there. That, that will, it's getting tacky now. No, we can let it go. We're going to do a bit of sky now, using a very rough, rough old brush. What I'm trying to do is to uh, show feeling and expression in, in acrylic with one brush and one colour, but I'm afraid I can't do that. In other words, just, just reduce painting to its absolute minimum. But the trouble is, with doing that, you add detail to it, which is not what we want to do. Uh, right, let's, uh, I'll put a bit of that background green in there. Uh, now that's a, we we'll have to go down the uh, hobby craft to get some more paint, more paint. So I don't want to go to eBay. I'll get filled up with eBay, getting banned on there. Heaven, that's why. Right, let's have a basic sky. <coughs> I'm, I'm going to use some different yellow. I'm going to use a, a deep yellow. That cabin yellow is going a bit mouldy. So let's just scrape that off and put a bit of cabin yellow deep, which is uh, Reeves acrylic. Very good quality of. Reeves, oh they were. Okay. Just using any old colours for this. Uh, right, that's uh, a bit of water, a bit of white. Touch of ochre. You can just cover quickly, and the more the thicker you use, the more you'll cover cover up what's underneath, without the colour underneath disappearing altogether. A bit of that there. 
Just working this till I get something that looks half decent. I think the brush here has got a bit, a bit ropey, but never mind. Clean the brush. Uh, well, it's the spiky greens. Plenty of greens, great. You can use black. I'm only using this because it's on my palette. If you don't use it up, use it or lose it, it'll go off. A little bit of a thing. Just keep going over with the, the tones until you've gone far enough and then you can just add some nice light to it. Clean the brush. I could make the picture bigger, but I could, but I can't get the the palette on as well. Um, I like my palette. All right, let's get some let's get some bit of a bit of character in this. A bit more blue. A bit of white. And a bit of red. Right. The horizon, if you have got dark on the horizon, you, you don't want it to against dark on the sky, so Okay, nice light yellow here. Whoops. I don't find this this uh, white very very saturated with pigment. This the gallery I'm getting a bit I just want to find out if I can get a different one though that's got more body in it. Just paint that out for a minute. Bit of, bit of uh, raw sienna, burnt, burnt sienna, shall I say? Oh, a little bit of touch of red. Touch of yellow. A little bit of a nice orangey tone. Then you can keep building up your tones. I've gone up too far. Right, get some darks in. Red, yellow, blue. I think my blue is just about at it. They don't stay open for forever. breaks in the sky on the top there, a bit of, bit of ochre. I mean not ochre. Sienna. Busy sky. Oh, 
Good. Oh, good. Look at that blue. Pyrolife blue. Oh, crap. It's dried on the, dried on the paper. This is my. Masterson's favourite palette, not guaranteed airtime, but uh, a lovely, lovely thing to have. It's very old now, but it's lasted, lasted, lasted. I've also used it as an oil palette on holiday. Uh, right, okay, let's uh, see if we can get a bit of, bit of bluey grey in there. These poor skies poor boiling at the moment. Okay. More lights, more light. Covering just got my trim. I'm gonna reinstate my trim. Right? And we're getting a bit bouncy there right now. Touch of this, touch of that. That's the beauty of a limited palette. You don't get too confused with the, with loads of the colours. Alright, let's get some cloudy stuff in there. Alright, let that go to a bit of a landscape now. Uh, I can go black, yellow, red, just bung it all in. Get some good good greens. Black. Not very convincing green, but it doesn't matter. We're making a picture, we're trying to make a picture that is pleasant to look at. More challenging. Let's get a bit of, bit of black in there, or paint's grey. It's taken me years of precision, well I wouldn't say precision, but realism painting to get to this abstract level. Um, we went to Hastings over the weekend, with, stayed with friends, 
and the lo lovely widow next door, her husband was sort of Royal Academician. But sadly died. I'm going to look at his work when, I, when we go again to our friends because he, well, he was a, a, a realism, photorealism. That's what, what he does, and I'm, I'm the antithesis of that. Or some light bits. Could be uh, a bit of gorse. Not quite the colour of uh, gorse, but it's more. Of course it's much more like a lemon yellow, I think. Just pushing the brush. Oops. I saw this tree on the TV earlier. Or this shrubby tree. So that gave me an idea. Just a fleeting idea of the inspiration for this painting. But I love this because it doesn't take long to dry. And you can work over quite quickly. Get some good, uh, I put some greys in there. We've picked up a bit on the brush. Gorgeous colours there. Yeah. Yeah, when you put a lot of colours on your palette, you're, you're tempted to use them all. So it's there, so let's use it, but it's amazing what you can do with a limited palette. A bit of, bit of uh, grey, crazy. Mm. It's a bit of white, blue, blaze grey. I might put some dark greys back. Like it, let's try painting out. I don't like it, so why do I do it? Oh, that's a co colourful picture. Why not? Oh, 
the little hair sticking out, make use of it. Behind the right. Just taking a little bit of counter change in there. A guy underneath there. Uh, bit more that kind of there. Oh, I could put a few puppies in there. Sky now because the paint's rubbed off of there. So I'll have a nice yellow. to uh, Too realistic. But we don't want realism. Really, we want to oh, painting. Oh, that's going to paint that bit of bit of blue. Let's go over that a little bit. Try to cover up those bits that have been dragged out. Just let a little bit of it show through. Now, what can we do to give that a real good abstract feel? Just grinning on this double, double, double mount. Right, okay. 
carefully put that back. Well, there we are, we've got a nice pretty picture. Uh, counter change, look, dark against a bit of light, same here, same there, and some greys that I've sort of lost. I, mean, I hope you like that one, folks. Uh, I've got to go post one tomorrow, but that was a little oil painting. These are the same ideas, but they're all different. Paintings are different. I've, I've not done one as intense as that with colour, but only just a few colours. So we've had ultramarine, burnt sienna, Payne's grey, uh, this lovely, lovely light, uh, deep yellow, some red, and some ochre. Very limited. Oh, I hope you like that. I'll get this one up. Oh, well, I'll do it. I'll just move it over. Oops. So more, more in the middle. Okay, let's sit through it. Uh, hmm. I tried to get that in the middle, but without dismantling everything, I don't think. Right, sorry about this. Well, there you go. If I zoom in, uh, oh, that's a zoomed in. Oh, there you are. Let's show you that. There's a bit of a hill there. That's why that is uh, showing up as. Uh, it's reflecting the light coming through my light window, loft window. Uh, and you can try these things and you can... I got this idea from, from Louise, Louise Marie, using crowns. I've only got three of them. I thought I'd, I, I'd try them out. Good fun, isn't it? Just, uh, just adds a bit of bit of interest to it. Uh, I've got a got a white the white pencil. Uh, yeah. Oh God! Look at that. I'm gonna have to cut that with my carpet shears. Uh, I'm not so keen on that. Bit there, a bit too overdone. And where's my little pencil? Pencil, pencil, pencil. Amazing, amazing how I lose. Oh, here it is look, under the uh, board. will wipe off when that's dry that, that if you don't like it you can come on it's a uh, waterproof it's a uh, watercolor crayon anyway I'll get that uploaded for you and you can make your mind up thanks for watching bye bye oh. Here we are. last last look at that I'm quite happy for that bye for now